Two things that the French do really well, coffee and chocolate. So we're going to cook up a café au lait pot au chocolat. Now this is one of those desserts you can make now and serve later, so it's brilliant for dinner party, it's quite impressive, basically chocolate custard. Okay. We're going to flavour ours with coffee and serve with a hazelnut biscuit. So to start off with, we're going to flavour our milk. So whole milk into a pan and start to warm it up. And then later on, we can add in cocoa powder, some coffee, and some dark 85% chocolate. I have a question. Already, fire away. Yeah, dark chocolate and cocoa powder. What's the reason for the two? So the cocoa powder is going to give you that kind of really bitter, intense flavour, but the chocolate gives you the kind of creamy te texture so and helps you to set later on. What percentage is this chocolate? 85%. Is really so you're going to get quite a bitter taste from this and a bitter taste from the cocoa as well. We're going to come onto the sugar, which oh, will balance it all out. But also the chocolate, once it's cooked into the custard, sets up in the fridge. So that's one of the setting agents. The other one is going to be egg. Because like a custard, the egg will help to thicken it. So two whole eggs okay. plus one extra egg yolk. Plus the sugar, which you're right, will okay. counterbalance with the coffee and the, the dark chocolate. I love coffee chocolate combinations. Coffee creme, Capital. coffee au lait, all of that. Essentially that's what this is. Delicious. This is yeah. combining two amazing French flavours together. Not traditional, because pot au creme would normally just be vanilla or chocolate. But neither is this shirt, nor this facial hair. That's not traditional, but it's a tribute to France. It, just <laughs> like this dish. It is our celebration towards the dish. And if you guys would have made pot au chocolat any differently, tell us what you'd have put in it, because we love to hear your suggestions too. We're up for contributions, we like them. Now two options, either use vanilla sugar yep. in with your eggs or just a little dash of vanilla extract um, helps as well. We've already got coffee and chocolate so it's only a little bit there, it doesn't need to be a huge amount. Don't whisk too much air into the egg and sugar mix, it's just to combine it and then all of our other flavours into our warm milk, chocolate, cocoa and coffee. The cocoa kind of goes into lumps to start off with but as it warms it all sorts itself out. With all the chocolate melted into the milk you can now pour it over our egg and sugar as we whisk get down to the bottom of the bowl so there's no egg and sugar mix caught and then transfer a jug and that's just for ease really because we're now going to pour them into ramekins. So we've gone for a glass one because then you can see right through it but you can choose whatever ramekin you want and then just pour pretty much up to the top. We're going to cook them very very slowly and instead of rising they're going to set just like a custard. Now these need a really slow cook, so we're going to do it in a bain-marie. Yes. So hot water, don't splash it over the chocolate, but into the tray. And the reason I've lined a tea towel underneath, just a clean tea towel, just stops these from overcooking. Now just before they go into the oven, one final thing, just skim off any of the bubbles, because that will form a kind of chewy top. At this point, this needs to go into an oven 160 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes, yep. and the water around it will stop it from overheating. Then take it out and allow them to cool, put them in the fridge to chill, and when they're cold, we can move on and make an amazing hazelnut biscuit to go with it. Oh. Now the pot au chocolat have chilled and set up, we can make a biscuit to go Good. with it. A quick biscuit. A quick biscuit, a simple biscuit, but a bit of crunch to mm. go on the side. Let's do it. So what we need to do is mix together, and it couldn't be easier, our melted butter, pre-melted, pre-weighed out. Measurements on the website. Along with brown sugar, stir. Was that an instruction? <laughs> and then add in the flour, and that could literally be the biscuit, but the whole point of this is we're going to add hazelnuts, and I then when you cook them off, you get roasted hazelnut. Hazelnut and chocolate is the best combination in the entire world. They do their sweet stuff well, don't they? The old French. The French do have a sweet tooth. Now, as an absolute noob, as le noob, le noob. Um, that, <laughs> that feels like more nuts, which is why I ejected some from the bowl. <laughs> It does look a lot of nuts, but it is a hazelnut biscuit. So really okay. the butter, sugar and flour is just enough to hold it all together. And you have to have a bit of faith with these because it doesn't look like they hold together a great deal. And when you cook them, they kind of fall and scatter about a bit. But then when they come out of the oven, you snap them and shape them and then they set up a little hard and crunchy and chewy and it's amazing. Ba ba boom. That was a quick biscuit. Yeah, and they don't need long to bake either. Just 10 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. With the biscuits cooked and cooled, we can finish off our desserts, a little bit of whipped cream. Now your suggestion, Mike, you wanted to crumble some of those over the top, didn't you? So go yeah, ahead. Yeah. A little sprinkle of that on top. And I know this is Sorted Eat France, but it's still got a little sorted twist. So, a sprig of mint. Oh, look at that. There we go, a beautiful café au lait pot au creme sorted. All right, get it in your bouche. Let's see, well, hang on. Got to weed it first. <laughs> down, get some cream, get some crunch. Oh, that's good. Lots of flavours, lots of textures, loving that. And a really easy dessert to make way ahead of time. Well, it looks impressive. And it tastes impressive. And if you see any other impressive looking French desserts out there, make sure you share them on Sorted Food. Mm -hmm.